Hey Kevin, how you doing my friend? Hope you are doing well. Nice to see ya. And Kevin Jones is here. Number two is here too. How you doing Kevin Jones? And hey Martin Janello, how are you my friend? Oh, how is everybody doing this evening? Hope you're all absolutely amazing. I'm super excited for this game. Like I was really happy when I got sent the key for this game today. I've been waiting to play this game. I was hoping they were going to send it to me early. But uh, I got a funny feeling the issue with PlayStation is they don't give out keys early or keys don't work early or something just didn't happen. So unfortunately I didn't get it. But we've got it today. So I'm super excited to get into this and have a play. I don't know if any of you have looked into the game or anything like that yet, but yeah, but but yeah, I'm I'm properly excited. So we're gonna have some fun tonight. Gonna have some fun. Got a couple of minutes yet though guys, so I'll uh, I'll make sure I start banging on. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, I guess that's what I want. Yeah, that is what I want. Just to make sure I give you the right information there. So, how's everyone's day been? Anyone been up to anything excited? Like, it feels like ages ago i streamed but it was actually yesterday <laughs> it's becoming a bit of a pattern now because we're streaming again tomorrow as well and then again on sunday it's, it's it's crazy absolutely crazy but i warn you beforehand i am on dad duty uh, the wife is working nights tonight so uh, if i jump up at any minute and say i'll be back i will literally be 30 seconds hopefully and my kid will go back to sleep but but unfortunately, it's the wonders and joys of being and oh. I say 30 more seconds, folks. So get yourself a drink. Up to the loo one last time, and let's get ready to go. I'm getting, I'm getting the sweaty fingers. Hello, our real life parenting in action. I know. Tell me about it, right? It's a good thing. Like the other night, he woke up. He he woke up while we were uh, singing, didn't he? I'll put the camera on for a minute and say hello to everybody. How you all doing? Um, so let me stop the music. Bang! There we go. Okay, so welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rescue HQ. Now, Rescue HQ has been out on the PC for a little while now, but today it has released on the PS4 and Xbox. So I'm super, 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 super excited for this. Now, I have had a little look, unlike all the other times where we've gone into it totally blind, I have had a little look just to see what's what with the game. Now, for those of you who don't have no idea what about this game it was it was released by stabilized studios in conjunction with dream loop and wapple link tinga or, or something like that and basically this is a simulation game this game is a kind of like you've got to build yourself and organize and manage free emergency stations okay now you start off very little and of course as you build and build and build and build you get bigger it's like that prison making game yeah uh prison architect it's like that but think fire police ambulance and coast guard so four different services which is absolutely amazing you've got you can train them you can develop them and everything like that now it's not just like a police car you get swat you get sniffer dogs you get loads of things in this and you've got to build and manage every single inch of it it is absolutely 
brilliant okay now i'm going to switch my camera and i am going to show you the game so this is what you will be encountered i can't can't stay have to take my mother to casualty have a great stream no worries kevin real life comes first mate i hope she is okay and yeah i hope she's all right mate i hope she's all right and that is real life sibling oh, looking after your mum there mate amazing okay so this is what you will encounter when you first join the game now you do have some key music i turned it down uh we'll have it up just a tad just so you guys can have a bit of that the music in the background going now um now when you do it as you can see here you get loads of different scenarios now you do have free build sandbox mode no challenges here build everything is unlocked yeah you got a sandbox mode you get four weeks yeah and then you can go into endless mode you've got chicago sf san francisco uh, you got berlin you got the streets of san francisco you have got berlin and then you get london okay now you get all of them that is all part now the dlc one here i believe was part of the original game which is pretty nice of them and this is in london where you get to work with also the coast guard which is pretty cool i'm quite happy i got i love the coast guard the coast guard like i've done a lot of work with the coast guard i used to work for the coast guard and everything like that so i'm 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 kind of attempted to go for london and just to have a go at that but they are all the maps you have available to you so there's loads to do from the off which is amazing like it's not a progression system so you you have to start one and work through it you can literally click on any single one you want and play that one which is awesome which is oh hang on hang on hang on i just noticed something i just noticed something uh transform stretch the screen there we go sorry about that okay so yes you have all of these maps available to you so that's what one two three four five six seven eight eight different maps that you can potentially go on and play now they recommend that one uh da, 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 no build restrictions basically a training map okay now i don't want to do the training map i want to get into it i want to get stuck in and i want to face everything now basically how it works is throughout the game you'll get loads of different challenges and scenarios you have to complete the scenarios that you experience vary in difficulty and items and everything like that now well i had a look at this one with the uh, rubber ducks and crumpets which is the london map um i done a, what i built was with the coast guard so you have to go out on rescue missions and everything like that now unfortunately you don't go out with the boat and be able to see them actually perform a mission uh you kind of just continue building and then you can see the progress chart and everything going on in the corner but anyway that's enough about me talking and bigging up the game now because i'm a brit we are going to do rubber ducks and crumpets which is the london map and basically command the new coast guard department and save lives on water london is faced with a mysterious epidemic of a harmful tea-based substance wicked we gotta deal with the tea awesome uh so we have an initial fund of uh, 120,000, or is that 120 quid either way um city grants you get you get the opportunity for two grants at 150,000. um uh, keep London and its waters safe from the nasty plans of smugglers and distributors. Amazing. So we are drug smugglers. We've got to prevent drug smuggling going on and everything like that. So we're going to do London. Got to do London. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Right. So let's go. Ahoy there, cadet. Welcome to London. Fancy seeing you around. Looks like we'll be working together again to keep this city safe. Expect bad weather. By the time we're done, it'll be raining red telephone booths. I love how they... <laughs> how they sort of... How they portray British people all the time. It, it makes me chuckle. It's a bit of a funny thing. But hey, hey, right, okay, right. We're not going to judge them on that. Right, uh fully featured response station for the Coast Guard, including facilities for the other emergency departments. I've, uh, 
negotiated a local fire station to give us some space to set up shop. <laughs> that sounds dodgy on its own, doesn't it? Negotiating a local fire station. Start by going through this list I have for you. I'll let you get right to it. I'm off for lunch. Okay, so first things first. Hang on, let me pause the map there. Now, so this is what you've got. So this is the area you start off with. These white blocks represent where you can build and so forth like this. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the basis of a little little bloody coast guard center and a fire engine there and you've got that little look of london going on around there so don't get me wrong this is not like a massive graphics game this game is not about being graphics this is simply about the management so let's go at the top there we go so uh starting up in the top left there you have got 120 grand you get stars i'm guessing that's based on your completed missions uh you get the fire engine thing the police uh the ambulance and the coast guard counters i'm not sure what that is that could be members of star not sure and then go continue across the top you've got the time bar now you can speed up you can start you can slow you can pause time and then of course you've got the weather gauges for the rest of the week which is amazing cool now so this is what we got to start so our first mission is to set up the coast guard uh build build a coast guard hiring station build life jacket stitching station and yeah and so forth like that so now what i'm going to do is pin the objective you can see the x there down at the bottom so ping objective and close that and now that stays on the screen which is awesome now the building mechanics are simple as you can see there, you press right on the down on the pad and you get all this. So these are all the different things that you can build, which is pretty damn cool. And there we go. Like that. So basically, we need to go in to build a Coast Guard hiring station, which is in the office. So you click on the office and then you go through and you have a look. Uh, Coast Guard hiring station, 2,000 quid. Awesome. And then you got to build it. So, hang on, there is a way in which we can make this a bit better. Uh, hang on. Let's uh, come out of that a minute. Let's get a good view. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. So we zoomed in a little bit. So build in uh, office, Coast Guard hiring station. So now you can rotate them. Bang. And there we have a Coast Guard building station. Now, once you place things, they're not built instantly. As you can see there, everything is boxed up. And then it takes a little bit of time. You can see the progress bar for the building going on there. Now then, also they need a lifeguard stitching station, which is built in utility. So let's go in there. Uh, lifeguard stitching station needs to go in. So we're going to build that. That'll be that. Lifeguard storage. I cannot build that yet lifeguard lockers so coast guard lockers so we're going to place them i mean do we need five of them so one two three four five and that will be that so that will be everything for that mission so now i can come out of this zoom out a little bit and now we can accelerate time a little bit Hey, yeah, the numbers are at the top are stars, reputation, right. Then the number of firefighters, number of firefighters, lockers, and police, medics, coast guard. Thank you very much, Saturn. So we're going to let all that build. And now that is that. So hopefully now we can now, yes, we've got the new utility, which is the life jacket storage, which you've got to have 
And there we go. So you've got to, to unlock that. You've first got to build the stitching station. And then you can build that. Now I'm going to pop that right next to there. Awesome. There we go. Now, once you build, you don't have to worry, okay? Now, this is totally, totally subjective on how you want your place to look, okay? You can move objects. For instance, I want to move this door closer to, to where I'm going to put the exit door, which is there. Actually, no, I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it there. And then, that is that. So, now, you can do so much stuff with this. And there we go. We have now completed it. So, let's see if we've got, now got, oh, a new menu. Do event log. There we go. Okay, so now, uh, build a class, B class, hawk docs, and build a, a docs. Okay. So we're gonna pin it. And now if we go in here and we go into docs, class B docs. Oh, maybe I gotta build the rooms for okay, so there we go. So we're gonna build the docs. If you hold down X, it allows you to decide how big you want the station and there we go 48 out of 48 awesome now you want to build a door now me being me i want my door to be there like that and then docks and now hopefully we can build our b there we go we can build it there now so that will now build us a docks. And that is everything that's going to be needed for that. Which is amazing. Awesome. So now we can let the time accelerate. We can speed up time a bit. And let that build through. You got boats. Well done. Now I can take my joy rides on the river. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mostly. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this this mayor seems a bit larry, didn't he? And there we go. So we are now fully equipped, ready for an incident. And instantly, we've got an incident, okay? Now, the first incident we are going to encounter is we have a call from a surfer who says her friends got swept out to the open ocean by a sudden change in wind. Send a rescue team to find and pick up the swept surfer. Okay, so naturally we've only got one boat, so we're going to choose the one boat. We're then going to pick our crew, and the more crew members you have, the more likely you are to complete the mission successfully. So if you look in the bottom right hand corner, if I have none, there is no way I'm going to complete the mission because I've got no one working that. However, for every person I put on, I increase... Oh, the amount of likelihood to complete the mission. Now, if I was to do take one person off, 80%, but if I put on that, now, you want to try and put on minimal equipment that you can, if that makes sense. Now, the less equipment you put on, the less work you have to do to fix it, the less your workers are going to get tired. Hey, 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 Christy Dunn is here. How are you? Oh, my icon is covering. Sorry, I'll hide that now. Uh, where is that? There we go. So, there we go. You can see it now. So, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see it's at 100% now. If I take off my workers and everything there we go so now you're in the bottom right corner you can see that you have got zero percent chance of completing the mission because you've got no one on it however what you need to do you need to select the boat and then every time i select a worker the likelihood of completing the mission successfully has increased so now i've got two workers is up to 80 percent but if i add on one piece of equipment which is a life jacket it now goes up to a hundred percent which means that i am going to complete the mission does that make sense to everybody so then obviously you can do more and you get 
120 and so forth but you don't need to as long as you're going to get 100 percent completion uh success rate you guys all you need save your staff save your equipment yeah i don't i don't know how i'm managing to talk you through this and i'm be, I, I think i'm doing this right i think i'm doing this right uh zach i hope i'm doing this right here um so yeah and then once you've done that press dispatch and now we can watch the workers go to work so they're gonna grab their kit you can see them running through and diving in the boat two workers and off they go so job is a winner there and then as you can see there below the dispatch menu button there it gives you a time of how long it's going to take to do it so i mean for completing that mission we're going to get paid five thousand pounds so we're going to let that mission run through 43 it's going down quite quickly so we're going to wait a second there we go emergency success so now i'm going to pause time again and that is that so we have now just got a bit of cash and everything like that now the next mission now i'm not entirely sure how long these missions stay with you um but i find them great especially if you want to learn the game um because it really helps you get the grips of the game if that makes sense uh da, 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 da. how much is this game so this game from what i believe is a hundred and uh, not a hundred uh 20 20 quid uk sterling uh 20 quid uk sterling and yes you can change the the, the speeds so i'll show you that so i'm going to pin that mission so basically what i'm pressing is r1 and r and r1 and r1 and it changes the speed of the game you can go all the way down to pause so like with farming life like i gave you that bit of advice of where you uh whenever you need to do something pause the game because otherwise you're going to get lost up in things yeah so again what i've done here i paused the game and now we're going to start looking at things so we need to build a bedroom build a refrigerator build a toilet and all of that business so oh so that's get into a view where i can see things right so now obviously with the building side of things you can do as totally totally up to you how you do okay now i'm one of those people that like to just try and plan ahead if that makes sense so what i'm going to do is build a corridor down there no actually I, i'm not going to build a corridor there that, that that's totally wrong uh i want to move that move object oh i can't move it uh remove object no i can't remove it there we go there we go that's better i done that wrong i didn't think that through there we go so what we're going to do is build a wall build a corridor first corridor bang and i want the corridor about there too wide we're going to go too wide oh come on there we go too wide because now we can build rooms off it if that makes sense and that is awesome now i don't need doors on it right let's go so we need a bathroom a bedroom okay so we're going to do a bathroom first bathroom i'm going to put the bathroom by there and then we're going to put a door on it there Hopefully you guys are seeing this now. Right, how many toilets? We've got to have four toilets. So, one, two, three, four. Four toilets. Now, we need to do how many shower cabins? Two shower cabins. So, I'm going to put the showers 
one, two, and we need two bathroom sinks. So can you see why I'm pausing the game? Because if things were going wrong at this point, I would be stuck. I would be like, I wouldn't know where to begin. All right, and there's that. Now, to accommodate for this, basically, you can see I've got a spare toilet here. I'm going to remove them. So, bang. 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 Because my plan here is to... Are you ready for this? Is to... Bang. 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 Extend that kitchen. Yeah. Because now, the kitchen, I don't have to move it. The kitchen's in a good place. So, remove object. Let's remove that door. And there we go. So, can you see what I mean by being able to, to move things about? Yeah? Uh, looks like an interesting game. Christy, do you know what? I played this game for a little bit before the stream just to have a look. And, oh my god, it is brilliant it is so so much fun uh okay so now we are need uh more refrigerators so kitchen refrigerators one two three Um, I'm going to put this last one in that side. Four. Four refrigerators. Uh, all right, we need some chairs. Oh, we need to build some beds as well. So we need to make a bunks. So bedroom. Let's build a bedroom. And we're going to build like a, a whole like bedroom, if that makes sense. Probably get it myself, so thank you for teaching me. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's all good. That's, that's what I want to do. I'm trying to, like, show it off, but also, like, give a few pointers for playing it. So, obviously, it needs a door. And now we need some beds. So, one, two. Three. I know it's saying I don't need that many, but I'm going to put them in anyway. Four beds. And then uh, we need some chairs as well. Uh, how many chairs? Two. Let's give them all a chair. Three. Four. And there we go. That should now complete that mission. So what we're going to do, we're going to accelerate time. A grand Boss. ship race is concluded and there we go. in a week's time. We'll see racers finishing. And that is how groups. And so need to make sure that the ships driving hard into the harbor don't run into trouble or each other. Amazing. So there we go. So we have now got a responsibility for looking over a, a boat show. A ship race. Yeah, okay. And we've got to make sure that no one kills each themselves, basically. Simple as Make awesome. Sure you have enough hands on deck to handle any situations that may emerge. Okay. And there we go. Now, what's cool? Look at this. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> that is so funny. That is brilliant. Can you see how it's all go black out when they, when they go to the loo? That is awesome. Same happens when they have a shower. <laughs> oh, God, there's little things to make you, make you giggle, eh? There's little things. Okay. So... We are now up to everything, so let's pause it, and let's see what we've got. So our only mission now is to manage the boat event. So we're going to let time go through. Oh, and there we go. So we've got a mission, dispatch menu. So again, this is what we do, okay? Select the boat, choose the workers. So that's going to get me 40%. That's going to get me 80%. That's going to get me 100%. That's all I need. So once I've got that, I can then press dispatch. And of course, if you're, you're not going to be able to make it, just press ask for help. Press dispatch. And you can get it, but it will cost you point. 
And as you can see there, uh, my reputation points have gone up by 30 from the previous mission. Now I can do that. Let's watch them jump in. Hey, dive in and off they go. Amazing. And that is that. So let's see if we've got anything else here new. Corridor, office, docks, bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, move object, add walls, remove walls by lock. Okay. So that is that. So what do you guys think so far? Like, oh, night shift is about to begin. Incoming shift. Okay. Proceed to next shift. That is awesome. So what do you guys think so far? Like, me personally, I'm loving it. Like, I, I did read a couple of the Steam reviews about the game before I, before we played it. And there we go. We got a success there. So we got 50 reputation and 1,500 quid. Awesome. And as you can see there, now there's a repair going on. And this is why you want to use as minimal equipment and staff as you can. Because your staff get knackered. Your equipment gets becomes kaput. And everything's like that. So you want to look after everything that is going on. Now, let's see if there's an event log going on. Nope, we're still doing the same mission. So we can let that progress through. Everyone looks happy enough. So I am happy there. So let's accelerate time a little bit and just let them continue this mission. Just while we're doing... Yeah, what are your opinions? So the Steam reviews were saying this is one of those games where you get entirely addicted to it okay you once you start that is it you're hooked you're addicted and you just can't do it this is all you want to do and yeah i kind of see that because that's how i'm kind of feeling anymore uh simple graphics but good but good use of management needed indeed 100 percent. okay so again like the boat let's get some staff let's choose millard this time 30 percent okay 30%, 60, 90, okay. So to be able to complete this mission, I need to have all of my staff. If I don't have all my staff, we're not going to have get the maximum reputation. Right, so 100%, we're gonna boost it. Let them do that. And there we go. So as you can see, guys, I'm really using the effective use of that time management. So speeding time up, slowing time down. Really, really key. If you don't, you're just going to lose yourself and you're going to get lost and frustrated. And you're going to be like, hey, what do I do? What do I do? So it is really important that you really pay attention to that management system of the time. So we got to just, we may as well just cross through it. Good, thank you. Hope you're doing well too. I'm glad you are well. And there we go. They are back. And we have completed that perfectly. Amazing. So we still need to just let them go through it. So obviously we need to repair the boat. We've got people eating. We've got people going to loo. No one's sleeping yet. No one is sleeping yet. But do you know what, guys? I'm addicted to this. I want to play it, and I want to play it, and I want to play it, and I want to play it. Like, it, it's it's just my kind of game. Like, quick. You can go quick. You can go slow. You can pause it. You, you can take your time. It is really all about... Oh, pause it. Open dispatch menu. Uh, there is a grey seal pot washed up on the coastal rocks. The seal needs to be treated carefully as its bite can cause infection. Have your crew help the seal back to the North Sea. Awesome. The 90. Okay. He's gone out. So we don't have that. So we have only got 80% chance because we don't have the equipment that we need. Right. So... We have only got 80% chance of successfully completing the mission, which is not good. Okay, you obviously, all the time, you want 100%. But I'm going to have, I've got no chance of completing it on my own. So I have no chance but to ask for help. So 
So we're going to have to go through that and get some help on that one. Okay, so incoming, going out, awesome. Next ship. Let's see if we've got anything. No, anything in the event log? No, so nothing going on at the minute. So we're going to let it proceed through. We, of course, we, we're trying to save money. It's getting rather obvious this small fire station is not up for the tasks at hand in its current state. We're lacking some equipment every time we go on an emergency. Try to fancy it up a bit. Hey, Thomas, how's it going? Uh, do, 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 do you can open options in the pause menu and look for other languages? Okay, let's have a look, shall we? So, let's pause it a minute. Uh, settings. Uh, Lacaron, can you um, confirm about the, the languages for us, please? Uh, the, the, the developers are in here. So, hopefully... They, they can uh, clarify on that for you, Thomas. Um, but from what I see, unless it's in the main menu, hang on, let's, let's, let's do this a minute. There we go, and save the game as well. There we go, return to main menu, let's have a look. Uh, settings. Uh, no, that, that doesn't. I think the language selection happens outside of the game, as in your PS options. Oh, what in the the settings of the thing? So, yeah, it's not in there. But okay, there we go. So basically, whatever language your PC is set to, I'm I'm assuming that's what you mean. Uh, there is a Polish option though. No. Okay, no worries at all. Thank you for um. So what they're saying basically is whatever language your PS4 is set to, is hopefully the language that the game will run in. Um, but like I said, there I'm not sure if there is a Polish option for the game, Thomas. Right. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the game. Sorry about that, folks. I just wanted to double check and have a look. Right. Let's continue on. Right. So where were we? Open dispatch menu. Okay, a man has been spotted swimming in the canal heading towards the UK. What? A man has been spotted swimming in the canal heading towards the UK. That must be a typo, Red, because I'm pretty sure London is in the UK. I'm confused by that. Uh, civilian tried to ask him already, quite bluish swimmer. Where are you heading if they needed help? But only received a short answer they could understand. Oh, ta 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 Okay, so 100% dispatch it. Jobs are going on. I forgot to hit the boat. That was my problem. I forgot to hit the boat. So that is done. Let's see if we've got any notes. Still no new events because we are still on the... So let's skip through it. Let them go through. Oh, we got to do the thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Dang. Oh, uh, open file log. Expand the fire department. Pin. So we're pausing there. Let's move over this way. Now, so obviously I'm going to try and keep them separated as much as possible. So that's got a corridor coming in. Corridor. Oh, I didn't pass axe. And... That'll do. Now, what I want to do is... Can I remove walls? That would be cool. Uh, remove walls. Oh.
Okay, I thought I could move and move walls, but... Okay, can't remove the walls there. That sucks. Okay, so... Let's go to... Uh, hang on, I've, I've got a plan here. That... Okay, right, okay, so basically I have to go in the garage and put a door in there. So I can't remove those doors. That's a shame, that would have been cool. And there we go, so there's that. Now there's a reason behind it. Okay, uh, build utility. So we need to build a utility room. So I'm going to build that next to the bedrooms. And lots of utility things going on. I wonder if that will be big enough. And then a door to the utility room can go there. So they can go in straight into the fire truck and out they go. Then, firefighter lockers. Firefighter lockers. And we need some more of them. So, let's move them over here. Uh, one two three four five six they want eight of them okay so let's make the room two blocks bigger one two bang now the reason why there's a reason for me doing this let's have um Hey. Now, what I'm going to do, watch this, okay? Is over here, that is a firefighter locker there. So I want to get rid of them. So, remove object, bang, 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 bang. Awesome, there is that. And that's going to then be my eight lockers amazing uh tank refilling station so utility again this game looks good it is so good but you can remove in the same room type right okay right okay i'm with you thank you zaron uh it does look amazing this is so much fun i'm having a blast okay you, you utility so we gotta build there we go a tank refilling station and a tank storage so we gotta have these in there so i feel like i'm going to put them there oh no actually yeah no that'll do There, into that corner. Awesome. So, tank refill, tank storage. Okay, so I need to build them items. So, that's come out of this. Now, pause it again. So, now, hopefully, yeah. Back into... Uh, where am I at? Uh, uh, tank storage, utility, air tank storage. Oh, we need two of them. Bang. Now I never move an item. So go over to move. Bang. Bang. And there we go, that'll be them. So that's come out of this a minute. Let them build that. Awesome, there's that built. Please be in here now. 
Please, nope, I haven't unlocked them yet. What do I need? Uh, duh, 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 duh. The dogs are kicking back this season. Oh, we're talking about Rwanda Sports. How have you been anyway, Christy? We've missed you, actually. We've missed you. Okay, so. Unlock fire department name. Right, so now let's work this out. Build foam extinguished storage. Okay, we can't do that. Okay, so I need to do something in the garage. So let's do that. Uh, build fire garage. Fire. Hang on. Fire. Fire vehicle. That one is it? A TLF 300? No, TLF 300. Okay, well, I need to zoom out here. Boss. There we go. There's that. Awesome, there's that. So let's let that build quickly. Oh god, we got an incident. Okay, we have a call from a surfer who says a friend got swept into the ocean, open ocean, open sea by sudden change of wind. Send a rescue team to pick her up. Bang, we want that. Uh, 40, 80. Oh. There we go. That'll do. 100. We're just going to have to send three workers to that. Okay, come on and build everything up. Horse. Okay, so now that is that. Okay, so now we need to build a train in the centre. This will be interesting. And we also need a kitchen. We also need an office for the... The thing. Okay, right, I've got an idea. So, open build. Like, you've really got to concentrate with this game. This is pretty intense. Okay. Uh, are we on pause? Yeah. Uh, I did see it, didn't I? A hiring station, yes. Okay. The office. That's going to be in there. Uh, I wonder if... No, I guess. That should be big enough. Okay. A door. Bang there. And then if we go into office. A fire thing. Okay. Uh, I want to retake that. And let's zoom in a bit so we can see what's going on. Perfect. Okay. There we go. There's that. The hiring station. Uh, a training center. So now we need to go into training, build a training thing. I feel like the training I want over here. I'm going to do it that size. God, it's just constant. I'm going to put the door there. And then unlock, build that. put it there oh no hang on i did not I, I didn't see that move object bang bang okay let's see where we're at are everything yes it is oh we gotta build two of them okay sorry my bad 
another one of them. That'll do. Make sure we, we save some space. Awesome, let's go. We got another disaster. We got a disaster on our hands. Okay, and uh, a person has fallen into the water in need of rescuing. We need the boat. Uh, we need some people. And there we go. Just about. Awesome. There we go. We got it. Okay, so now we can do that again. Eventually, like, I'm hoping to get to a point where I can, uh... Right, why can I not build these here? Utility. Okay, require unlock London. Unlock fire department name. Oh, which, so it's saying that I need 250... Uh, phone refill... Yeah, they're the two things I need. So it's saying that I need 250 uh, reputation before I can purchase it, I'm guessing. Pretty dangerous place around now, I know, right? You put, you add water, though. Oh, hang on. Uh, I recommend you go to the refill station... I recommend you go to the refill station outside the build menu. Where's that? I'm confused. Uh, Ooh. I recommend you go to the refill station outside of the build menu. Is that in here? Oh, look at this. This is huge. Open management. Oh, my God. Okay, so. I'm basically... Okay, so. Toggle priority. Toggle priority. Recruitment isn't a thing. Wow. Toggle priority. Toggle priority. Toggle priority. I'm assuming that's what that is. So hiring isn't massively an issue. The problem is refilling. That is awesome. Look at the size of this. Look at this. Vehicles. Financial report. Oh, I don't want to look at that. A uh, human. And it gives you all the things when they oh. Wow, that is cool. So much. I didn't see that. I haven't even looked at that before. But thank you for that. And now they will refill more often. Because they are marked as a priority. Awesome. Uh, you're on that. Um... I'm going to unpin that objective for now because we can't do anything until we get that 250 experience point. But let's start looking what we can do. Also, if you need reputation, just let the time run a little bit. There we go. We're... One ninety, two forty. Okay, there we go. We got another one. A man has been spotted running canal, swimming in the canal, heading towards the UK. Uh, yeah, it, it seems like... Okay, so maybe that's a bit of a thing. Maybe, like, having a few different scenarios. If that makes sense, that would be nice. So now we can let that time go through. And that'll get us up to the 250, which will mean then that we can do the final missions... Bang. 
There we go. We got another mission. Uh, we are called from a surfer who said of friend. So, so far, we've experienced three different scenarios. Uh, four, actually. So, we got the seal, the seal pup. We got the surfer. We got the swimmer. That's three. Yeah, we've only had three scenarios. So, obviously, it would be nice if we had a few more. But, of course, like... I don't know, maybe more will come at, at some point or something. Right, so now we need to do some things in here. So, uh, open build menu, utility. And then we're going to build on a dam. Actually, I'm going to move that door. Yeah, I got it. Well, are we built now? Can we do it now? Yes, we can. There we go. We've unlocked it now. So I'm loving the unlocking system. Like, it's really useful and really nice. Because, of course, like... It's nice to be able to do that sort of stuff. And there we go. So that means now we got to go into our here. There we go. Toggle priority. I don't believe there are a ton of scenarios, but they, they're also random. So there is a good chance you'll get the same one twice. Right, okay, thank you. Always good having someone who can give you an insight to the game watch. I agree, 100% agree there, Kevin. And we really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming to join us. Right, wicked. There we go. Now this looks like a proper fire department. Bloody good work. Jolly old chap, isn't he? I had to slow everything down a minute. Oh, what's this? A seasoned crew. A member of being promoted to season, they may get new specializations and generally be more proficient on what they do. So, that is F5. I had to say, hey, Christy, I missed your F5. Christy 5. Um... That's cool. That is a lovely touch. So as you have your, you do more missions, obviously your team are going to develop in better skills. So they're going to improve their quality of performance, which means they'll be a lot better. That, that is amazing. That is awesome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. That is so cool. Okay, so. But hang on, can I? Can I clear these events? Hang on. Uh, can I clear it? No. So how do you get rid of them? Uh, toggle. Ah. There we go. Expand the fleet. Okay, so. Bang. Okay, so there we go. That's how you clear them. Right. So we need to expand the dock. So, uh, docks, build dock. I'm probably going to have to. Expand that. And, okay. Uh, Phoenix. Uh, and an Osprey. An Osprey. A Phoenix. And there we go, there's the Phoenix. Uh, and an Osprey. 400. So I need to build up my rep to be able to do that. So let's progress through some missions. Uh, 
Okay, so I managed to be spotted swimming in the canal again. Okay, so does this where does this say their rank? So none of them there are the rank. Dispatch him. Awesome, there we go. Proceed to the next ship. Oh. Another mission. A man's been spotted and swimming in the canal again. Bang. 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 Let's do that. I love it. Obviously, the number of workers limits how many things can be worked at once, so be careful not to mark too many things as a priority. Oh. A restaurant boat has caught fire on the dock. Not suitable, not suitable. Okay. So there we go. And we're going to have one, two, three, ninety. Hundred percent. There we go. Two workers, two things. Okay, things are starting to. Oh, I didn't realise. Oh, that's not good. That's going to delay their time, isn't it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I never thought about them having to. Okay, right, let's do that. Let's fix that. Move objects. Uh, we're going to move. Bang. We're going to move half these lockers back over here. Three. That's pretty cool. That's a boat. It's a boat. Four. And then I'm going to move that one down. I want these close to the door. So, like... Obviously, this game is brand new to us as well. So this is a massive learning curve. Massive, massive learning curve. Hey, Dogme, how are you, my friend? A new mission's come in. Uh, a person has fallen in the water and is in need of rescue, and that's a different one. Uh, okay, I'm going to put you on it. Boss. Huh. What's he doing? Oh, he was fixing the boat. I was trying to work out what he was doing, man. Okay. Du, 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 du. So we haven't got enough points to be able to build that final boat yet. Once we could build that final boat, I think it was like 400 points, was it? Let's have a look. Uh, docks. Yeah, 400. Need an Osprey, which is 400 points. Amazing. Uh, doing okay. Life has been a bit crazy lately. Oh, mate. It's uh, the wonders of life, eh? Okay, eh? Awesome. We're looking good. So, let's speed things up a bit. Uh, we got another mission. Man has been spotted swimming in the canal. You and you, because you got the most thing. There we go. Oh. Uh, next shift, awesome. So that's let them work through this mission. Oh. Heads up, chap. The group leading the race is coming into the finish line in a few days. The leading two are known to maintain a bit of a bullheaded rivalry. 
So just make sure you're ready to step in if the home run gets too intense. Oh. Okay, we're on another mission. Uh, bang, oh, bang. I'm gonna put you and you on it this time. Um, I wonder... No, I won't. I'm wondering whether I should build another boat. Another mission's come in. Person is falling in the water. You and you. There, oh, come on. There we go. So now we're just managing things. Obviously, we can start making the place bigger and and stuff like that. But another mission. Man has been spotted swimming in a canal. Like I'm naturally pausing the game now. As soon as a mission comes in, I'm pausing the game. Oh, and look at that. Okay, so now we can do the boat. So docks. The Osprey, where's it going? Yes. We can unlock the Osprey and we can put an Osprey in. And there we go. Oh, hang on. Uh, move object. I can't move the dock. Okay. Uh, so let's get an osprey in the water. Awesome. And let's go through time. Uh, look alive, maggot. <laughs> All right, chill out. Uh, bang. Uh, we only need two members of staff, okay. Oh, God. Going out, coming in, okay. Looks like we've got another thing. Uh, restaurant boat. Uh, bang, bang. There we go, send that out as well. Hey, we got some more season crew. Event log. Yeah, baby, we've got two of them there. Awesome. Uh, let's check our event log again. Let's take the season crew off it. Right there. Complete the international sailing event. Okay, that'll all go. Make sure you have crew. Yeah, okay. Wicked. Now, what's this? Oh, my God. Been spotted near the thing. Okay. So how do we manage improve our crew? How do we improve like the lightly the crew? So obviously at the minute my crew uh, are a bit demoralized. So how do I improve that? Okay, another one. Uh, ship enthusiastic view in the race was very busy of Meyer in the hull. Uh, when he suddenly fell into the tent. Bring a life jacket and pick him up. So, basically, because this is a two star, just that one staff member will be sufficient to complete the task. If I just go for the normal, it only gives me 45. But if I go for 90, I can send them on their own. Which is great. Now I need to figure out how to improve the the morale of the star. 
They've got everything they need, haven't they? Why am I star and happy? What is going on? Okay, there's experience. So that blue, that green lever you see is experience. So why is this guy tired? The push fever could get exhausted. Can be recovered by sleeping or resting. Um, hang on. Let's go in here. Human resources. There must be a way to change them over. So they will sleep. Right, you and Nako. How do I make you better? There must be a way. Build more lockers. Okay, hang on. Move object. I'm going to have to do that. I got no choice, I'm gonna have to Oh Ah Come on There, and what I'm doing is just moving these lockers back over here. So that I can put some more in. So that's going to be utility, wasn't it? Utility, Coast Guard lockers. Now, I need to figure out how I'm going to do these ones to make these better. Uh, okay, I got an idea. Move that. Oh, it requires a wall. I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Yeah? I didn't think of this, did I? So my my dilemma is if I show you. So if you look out on the right side, I'm able to hire applicants, build more lockers, and I'm able to Yeah, so I need to get some more lockers in. But, without doing... Okay, this is what we're going to have to do. Uh, firefighter lockers. Okay, have I got any emergencies? Risk tending along the uh, a small boat adventuring a race passes and a the precaution. Now in distress. Okay, so I'm going to send you because you are a thing. There we go, 100%, awesome. Cool. 
Best of release you were excited for. Yes, Ryan, it is. How you doing, Ryan? This is the release I've been excited for. Yes, my friend. Okay, so, oh. Oh, wow, I didn't notice that. I'm going to have to ask for help. I haven't got the thing for that. Okay, uh, open dispatch menu. What's going on? Okay, I'm, I'm out of that. I didn't see that. You have to press R1, R2 to be able to get the different emergencies. I fucked up that. In simple, simple terms, I messed up truly. So what happens if I down? Down. Going out, coming in. What? Going out, going out. Uh, can I change him? No. So what does this clock mean? Hey man, how's it going? Uh, hey, Sheehan, how are you doing? Uh, your staff will be able to sleep after their shift. Ideally, don't send them out when they're tired. So it gives you a bit of a penalty, but that's all. So what does this do? So if I click this, does that mean I can keep staff in? Or you are amazing. You are making them work overtime. Right, okay. But can I stop staff from working for like him and them two, for instance? And knackered. Can I not bring them into work and keep people going on overtime? But I'm guessing not. Okay, uh, restaurant boat. So I'm going to have to send that out. These are all good. I guess send Kathleen. And thing. And you. Yeah, just just send that. That is good. Open dispatch menu. Uh man has been spotted swimming the canal, so that boat. And that boat. And that boat. And that. Awesome. Wicked. Oh. All of them will will change out unless you mark them as overtime. Right, okay, I'm doing. Uh, you're doing great, mate. T just got home from the gym, so ready to sleep. Ooh, I'm very well, thank you, Shin. Very, very well. Uh, so what's the jobs? Okay, so, Ryan, basically, you are in charge of uh, a fire service, a police service, an ambulance service, and a coast guard service. And you have to manage it build it and protect the city and make sure no one dies essentially in simple terms now as you progress through you get repetition reputation points you get money to be able to expand and your staff evolve when i say evolve get better they get better stats which makes them more proficient or doing their job and then yeah you've got to keep building keep managing and keep dealing with all the situations and scenarios you face with Hope, hope that kind of puts it in a nutshell for you and you you get what I mean. But yeah, that, that's pretty much the gist of the game. Okay, so duo kayakers have gone messing around with the racer ships and gone capsized by large waves. They're going one way and the gear is going another. Send a life to boat to pick up the forum ones. Uh, I'm going to get... Nope, you're tired, so I'm going to leave you alone. Oh, we're only going to get 80%. 70% chance, 60% chance of... Thingy. We haven't got the equipment. Right, I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to keep the game paused. And let's see if we can unlock anything here. 
Uh, I need 700 points for that. Uh, submersion pump. We can get that. So I'm going to build that. And put it in. Because you never know what that's going to need. Rescue equipment station is going to need 700 points. So that is the next target. Yeah, we got some more seasoned crew. Amazing. That is what we want. Okay, we got a disaster. The lighthouse keeper has stopped reporting in. He was just last here the two weeks. I know Dusty Buck in the basement of the lighthouse. Go check on him. Uh, where's Hope? You're on emergency. Oh, okay. Go check on him. Okay, right, guys. Keep going. Come on. Emergency successful. Amazing. What we won. Oh, we got another emergency. Uh oh. Uh, a tanker carrying all barrels is called in an emergency to require help with securing the cargo. And have asked us to send an extra pair of hands. Oh man, this isn't good. I got tired, guys. I'm going to ask for help on that one. Oh my god. Uh, send the tired one in as well, right? Okay, the lighthouse keeper has stopped reporting in. Oh, so we got the same mission because of that. 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, all of them. Crikey. I'm going to leave one behind, just in case. Leaders arriving. Okay, next ship. Amazing. That's what we needed. Oh, we got an incident. Taking risky selfies. Yeah. Oh, we still got too tired. They've only just bloody come into work. Shame on them. And that's why I left one behind. I know, isn't it? There's, that's a lot of stuff for just one person. There was the emergency. Oh, because we didn't complete one. Okay. Oh my god, a duo kayakers. You. Uh, you. 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 90%. Oh, the boat. There you go. We're okay. seeing a statistical increase in smuggling over the Oh, past we got some smugglers. Now customs office says they have their hands full of contraband found on cargo ships and the like. We're going to help them with this one. Set up storage space for incoming contraband and some means to process the goods. Just make sure I have access there. Huh. I can handle the inventory. I'm sure you can, my friend. I'm sure you can. Uh, on some emergencies, your crew will find suspicious items which they'll bring back to base for further invest investigation. During process, these items will often reveal criminals or potential dangers which you will need to respond to. Generally, these emergencies will be less critical and have ample time for your dispatch as we are talking about smuggled contraband. The difficulty of the resulting emergencies will be a bit higher than your regular tasks, but so will their rewards. Contraband is stored in contraband storage and processed in the contraband processing station. Ooh, by Coast Guard crew. But these stations build these stations inside a utility room. So we need to build a utility room.
So we gotta put a door in. And let's have a look. Oh, uh, we need a lot of things. Right, now the first thing I want to do though is the rescue stuff. It's really you have at the end of the week, then the cap will increase. Oh, I did not know that. Whoops. Uh, we have a call about a capsized fishing boat with a handful of fishermen aboard. There we go, five. Okay. Oh, right, okay, I'm with you, I'm with you. I got it, thank you. Uh, when they're tired, they'll only raise your chance by, say, 15 instead of 20. but still worth it. Right, okay, thank you. Oh, God, I'm loving having all this advice. Another emergency. Start to sink on the river. We'll not make it to shore with no boat. Get in there, make sure. Okay. So bang. I don't know why it keeps. Okay, we're going to carry four. Okay, so 85% chance. Off you go, mate. Go save them. God, this is getting mental. This is getting the racism finished in staggered groups. The first ones are arriving at the harbor to guide the ships to avoid crashes and keep. Okay. Seventy five per cent, that's all I got. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh coming in, we've got two who are tired. I might try and keep, have we got, can we keep running over time? Yes, you can do over time, mate. I've got one on over time. Just because now... There we go, 100%. Keeping a really, try tapping it really gentle, maybe. Yeah, I mean, that's probably it. Maybe I'm using, uh... Get ready. They're almost here. What constitutes a fair race to the finish line could be something quite different with these two competitors. Okay, not suitable, not suitable. Okay, I want to get these guys' experience up. You guys have got the most experience, so I'm going to get you in there. So that we can get some experience with you guys. Okay, a man has been spotted swimming in the canal. Okay, I'm going to send one of you with one of you. And we got all the missions on the go. Oh, we got another mission. Uh, the seaside captain of one of those running to the ship into the restaurant. Uh, the restaurant ship is on fire. Okay, let's get you in there.
No. Oh, hang on. Can I not carry too much stuff? Can I? Oh, that's all I can carry. Okay. I haven't got any of that. Oh, hang on. So, obviously send in the Coast Guard as well. Oh. Uh, with one of them. One of them. I haven't got the stock for it, so I can't do it, so I'm going to have to ask for help. Okay. Okay, I'm with it. Right, okay, so you've got to take both of them. Right, okay, I've got it. Thank you. Hey, we got another season crew. And we got the 500 points. Okay, we see side captain of the race position and run the ship. Okay, so this is another one of them. Uh, I haven't got any rescue equipment. I'm going to have to ask for help. percent cool yeah because i haven't got all the equipment yeah because i don't have all the equipment So basically, if you look here on the screen, uh, up in the up in the top right, I'm, I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. You can't bloody see it uh, because I don't have the rescue equipment. I cannot undertake the mission, so I have no choice but to ask for help. Now let's open the log. Sub contraband. I can't do that yet. Complete the international sailing event. Okay, we're on them. So let's continue through. Let's keep going. Gotta give me some missions. No missions coming in. Okay, they're all going to come in at the minute. Uh, that's not the issue. Oh, you you just had one firefighter too many and that was stopping you. No way. Bollocks. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. Taking in with big ships, trending on many amateur sailors, a boat adventure in the races, neglected precautions, now in distress. With only minor hull damage with two people overboard. Okay, so, uh, the race winners are rushing for the finish line, and the runner-up has made a strange mistake, crashing into the leader's starboard quarter. That's the rear end for us land lovers. <laughs> Both ships are drifting, leaking and in need of assistance with uncontrolled fires, but no injury. Send the force. Okay, so send that. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I'm going to send five on that. Okay. Okay. My boss one is on a mission. Send you.
Okay. 61% chance of completing it. Okay, so the problem is that each boat can only carry a certain amount of people. And that is... Uh, can you see above all their names? you got three out of three there. So if I get rid of one, that's two out of three. That means that boat can only handle two, three people. And so forth like that. Okay. God, there, there is a lot of number. Wow. So now I know I got 61 chance. So we're going to go for it. We're going to try it. And hope that we survive. Come on. You gotta do it. Oh no. Uh boat is to sink in the river. All I got, I'm gonna have to send it. Only sixty percent chance. Damn. Phew. You saved their lives. Their prides won't oh, be we saved them. As they won't be enjoying any prize money. Now with their ships broken and race positions plummeted. Dopes. What was the runner up thinking? Better have his health examined. Let's well, see. I really Let's recommend you check your events. Be pad left. Right, okay, I'm with you. Thank you. Uh, medical department up and running fast. Both crews of the two leading ships took injuries in the crash, and they need medical attention. Set up a room, triage stations, do something on the double. Holy shit, this is getting a bit too much, you know. Okay. So. Basically, the problem is... Is that I don't... So you said that I need to make sure that I've got 500 reputation points by the end of the week. Right? And I am now on week... Day... Day 6, I think. So if I go under now... If I go under the 500 points, that means that I'm not going to have cap it at that 500 points. If that makes sense, I'm going to be stuck at that. So I won't be able to do anything. Right? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm. Right. But first. Building couldn't cost any points. Okay, so. Draken. Hopefully two beds is enough to start with. Only beds. Uh, let's go out of this a minute. Um, medical lockers, okay. So pin that. So we've got two beds. Now we need some lockers. So if I go into medical. Nope, they're, they're, the things are going to be in utility, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, can you see how this is expanding massively? Okay, so I need another utility room. And if I put this...
Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Can I build a room? I need a wall. Add wall. There we go. Okay, right. So now we need utility. A door for a utility, which I'm going to put here. And then we're going to need to expand the corridor. Down to there. Utility. We need some medic lockers. Uh, one, two, three, four. A breaching gear maintenance. Uh, nothing in medical there. Medical. That's going to cost me 200 points, but I don't need that. Okay, I think I am going to put some more doors there. A corridor. Oh, I can't build them doors. Let's build this door instead. There's that. We got any incidents? No. Let's check in here. Build an ambulance service. Oh no. Big object. Oh no. This is now going a bit piton. It's now getting a bit too much for me to handle. Can't do that. We can't do that because we haven't got the, the points for it. We can do that though. Hopefully, let's have a look. Garage. Uh, yes, we can. Awesome. Is that going to be big enough? And then if I go into standard vehicle. And now if we go into corridor. We're going to build the corridor coming down here. And there we go, and then an access door. There. Now I'm going to make this room a bit smaller. Like when I build the next room, I can do that. Like... I see how this is progressing now. Like naturally, you watching me here, you can be like, you can really figure out that you things need to be done differently. Okay, for instance, what I would want to do now is almost move the bathroom over there, extend this you this room, and make it one long one. If that makes sense.
God, we can unlock loads of things. Breaching gear. Okay. Oh, we still haven't got enough for the rescue kit. Contraband storage. Uh, processor. Contraband processor. That cost me 400 points. But I need to keep my points. Right, okay, I'm with that. Okay, so. Let's progress through. See what emergencies we got going on. Looks like we got two. Let's sink on the river. Okay, you. Wow, this is saying a lot. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. That's a big mission. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to reach that emergency. I am going to start. No, we didn't we miss that one. Oh. Hey. Okay. First time these are going, why, why can't I do it? Oh, dispatch, yeah. First time they're going out, let's go have a look. Uh, hey, there we go. Hey, there goes the chat. There goes the doors. Hey. Okay, SOS from her where they say the two pounders are fighting and throwing themselves overboard during the struggle. <laughs> Just leave them. Their own stupid fault. Own stupid fault. Oh, now the weather is getting colder, he feels like a bit. Oh, no, mate. I'm exactly the same. I will personally keep the points on day six. Okay, so I'm on day six now, aren't I? So keep my points now. Oh, God. Uh, restaurant boat has caught fire. My boat is on fire. There we go. Okay, what's next? Come on. Keep these missions going. Let's go. Yay, more points. Another mission. Oh. Uh, a whale managed to get washed ashore. We have to help the poor creature back in the waters. We need a tow line. I don't have a tow line. I'm probably going to take the big boat for this. Only 60%. I could have took the other boat. I'm glad I didn't know. Uh, okay, so let's get some... Because now I'm, I'm maxing my points. Like I'm using my points. I'm getting reputation points, but I can't get any more... Reputation points, which is really annoying. So basically, keep them, but don't save them all to the last day. Keep spending until you get to, oh God. A boat is sunk on the river. We're not making it to shore with the boat. Get in there and make sure the thing. Three, four, 
five. That's taking everybody. Turns out the rough racing captain had some strange substance in his blood after all. He only remembers drinking Chicken tea, tea. Day, though. Right, okay, but it is a bit risky, right, okay. So basically what you're saying is, is that if you don't have the maximum amount of points, uh, reputation points by the end of the week, you don't progress? Right, okay, I'm with you. So you need to hit up. He says it was a fascinating new type of tea that he had bought from a street vendor some weeks ago. I need to get a hold of some of that. Uh, just so I can test it. In a lab. Alright, okay, I'm with that. Uh okay, so it looks like uh, let's open the event log. Use the crash or a lot of injuries. Okay. Uh, okay, so I need to build the contraband storage, but of course I can't because I need to keep my reputation points now. Uh, cruise ship. Oh, wow. Again, patience arrive. Men she's successful, amazing. Okay. Well done there. That was a, yes. But you pulled through. Now we have time to set up a proper medical department. Go through this checklist I prepared for you. Really? Holy smokes. Build more lockers, a laboratory, cabinet, and a hiring station. Okay, right, I need to rework this. I need to get things organized. So, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Okay, open the build menu. Utility room, build a utility room. Alright, let's do that. Okay, now bear with me. You're going to see what I'm doing in a minute. Bang. Oh, oh. Uh, move object. I can't see which way you're facing. Yeah, that's right. One. Oh, come on. Move object. This is just becoming a shit show. Two. Guys, I am loving this game. Like, if you haven't yet, I really recommend this game. Three. Four. Uh, I need one more locker. Okay. Medical. Oh, no, we're in utility. The lockers. Medical locker. Five. Six. I'm going to do six just because I can. Now, what I'm also going to do is extend the corridor.
Да. Okay, I got this. <laughs> ah. And um, then I extend this up. What I want to do is build medical. Time and we're gonna put a medical. No, I don't want to do it. Uh, okay, no. Corridor. Okay, and now a medical. Okay, can you see where I'm going now? Where's the medical sign over there? Okay, so we're moving. Uh, how many beds do we need? None. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now is, yeah, I, I get in this, like, so now I've set it out. So on the end, I've got ambulance, fire, thing services, if that makes sense. And then I've got those spare rooms. One's going to be contraband. And like, I know it's getting huge, isn't it? Uh, so we've got the lockers. Uh, we haven't got the lavatory. And we haven't got the cabinet. So let's have a look. Lavatory, we haven't, we can't get any of them yet. Because we need to save our points. Yeah, okay, that's everything that we can do at the minute. Now again, our boat is starting to sink. Okay, so let's get some people up. 30, 45, 60, 70, 80. Enjoy. There we go. I guess uh, unpin that for a minute. We can't do any of them until I've got thing. I'm going to let that play through for a minute and remove object. Ah, oh, clear area, actually, clear area. And there we go. And I want to clear that as well. I don't need that in a minute.
Okay, now we're back in the contain now. Bedroom, expand the bedroom. I'm going to bring the bedroom out of square. With that. Ready, and we're going to move that. Uh, it's got to be that way. Bang. With a chair. That way. Actually, I can move everything over now, can't I? So that over one. That over one. Sorry, guys. I just want to... Can you see how addictive this is becoming? This is absolutely insane. I am loving every inch of this. Oh, what? Oh, they failed the mission. Okay. Proceed to next shift. Successful. Whoa, whoa. So just let things keep ticking through now. But can you see the organization? Try hiring some more staff on the management menu. Can you hire more staff? Human resources. Oh, applicants. Hire for... Oh, amazing. Okay, I get it. Last ship before the weekend. Yes, it is. Okay, off to uh, management spotted swimming. Bang. Jobs are winner there. We're going to finish this week off, I think. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Certainly an absorbing game. Oh, mate, just those minor things. You just want to keep doing these minor things. And it's amazing. Oh, God. Uh, there's a grey pot. Okay. Have we got any decent guys here? No. Okay, so bang. Bang. What? I'm not going to be able to do that. And there we go. We, we, I got a bit stressed and I thought, oh no, we're not going to get back up to 500. Uh, well managed to get washed up. We'll have help with a poor creature back into the water. I can only get 75%. It sucks if it just doesn't keep overlapping though. That really sucks. Like, your reputation points, you should almost be able to keep building them. Still need to help them. One of our fellow Coast Guard vessels is stranded near the White Cliffs and needs a tow home. Oh no! Uh, you. Let's see if I can get away without using you. Ah. Uh. 80%. I haven't got a tow line. Also, when you hire trainees, the one with the uni hat, they don't contribute anything when you send them on an emergency. But they will get XP and then level up and be useful staff. Right, okay, I'm with you. Come on, get the shift over with. I've 
Okay, so I'm guessing this is it now. That is the end of the week. So, for the week, it cost us £97,000, and we made 67 so we're working on our loss there. Wow. Uh, we, we haven't got City Grant taken yet, which is good. Convert reputation to things. So, how do I do that? So, what do I do here? I'm confused, eh? Okay, so, reputation. Convert reputation to 500. I'm confused. Don't convert it. Okay. Uh, don't want to take a say grand. So now, let's turn reputation into money. Right, okay. But you want to keep the 500. So, accept and continue. And there we go. So, let me pause it. So if you look up in the top left there now, my reputation has gone up to now where I can obtain a thousand. Which means that I can now get the items that I've been waiting for. For instance, uh, no, not on there. In the utility, I've been dying and I really need this bad boy okay rescue equipment station because that's where you have all your tow lines and everything like that but i needed 700 reputation so the first week round like like i was really very proudly toned by karen was to keep make sure you have 500 reputation at the end of a week because then it will double up and it will give you a thousand. If you do not have maximum reputation by the end of a week, you will not, it will not increase. Does that make sense? So, that first week, grind it out. Do not spend your reputation on the, from the sixth day and just keep doing missions and keep completing them to get that reputation up to 500. Once that reputation is at 500, do not spend do anything do not unlock anything and then you will be able to have a thousand which means then you can progress so amazing thank you so much there for the advice on that do you have any new boats you can unlock some stuff in here so now I'm going to unlock that because I need to have it in here. Now, where am I going to put you? I'm feeling like building a room off here. So open build, medical build. Yeah. Building a door. There. Because now I can put my medical laboratory in here. So now if we let that go through, there we go. Open build menu, go back into medical. So, if, so now we're going to a medical cabinet. We're going to put that in here. Like that. And we're going to unlock the burns as well. And we're going to build a burns. Burns treatment. And now... Expand medical facilities. Yes, there we go. So that will now complete that. 
Oh, and there we go. Okay. Right then, everybody. I'm going to call it a night there now. Oh, God. Let's pause it. God. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going to have to send these people out on a mission. Incited sailing and deadly intoxicated. <laughs> I know I would be. Whoa, this is a big one. Three, four. Now how do I send my second boat? All right, we're going to dispatch with that. But everybody, thank you very much for coming to join me this evening. I hope you have enjoyed this. I'm loving it. Now, I kind of want to play more of this. So I think this is going to become a new series on this game because this game is highly, highly addictive. But Christy, it's been lovely to see you too. And everybody, thank you so much for coming to join us. And thank you, uh, Karen, Xaron, for coming to and, and giving us a few hits and pointers along the way of the game hopefully i've done you justice <laughs> um but ladies and gentlemen i hope you have fun if you have please do hit that like button and of course first time here if you want to come back watch a bit more of this and of course all the other games i'm playing please do hit that subscribe button as well it's lovely to see you all christy it's a real i'm loving having you back here mate it's lovely having you back but ladies and gents so overall, if you have not got this game, I 100% recommend it. This is the most addictive game I've played in a very long time. But, ladies and gentlemen, for me, have a wonderful night. I'll speak to you all again soon. I'm back tomorrow for some Valheim. Um, so hopefully you can all come and join me then. If not, I'll be back on this at some point next week. But ultimately, game, guys, this game is phenomenal. This game is absolutely amazing i am in love with this game so if you haven't done so already i strongly recommend it but until next time ladies and gentlemen i will see you tomorrow bye for now